Hello, my beautiful people. Uh, welcome back to 4th of July weekend, which is very, very exciting. I'm super excited. 4th of July is actually tomorrow on Monday, but we're going to celebrate a little bit early with an awesome pour. I love fireworks. I always have since I was a little kid, and I always want to create something that looks like fireworks and usually end up wanting to use red, white, and blue, which anybody who has tried that before knows that it's very difficult to achieve. <laughs> keeping the colors separated. So I'm going to do a different interpretation of fireworks in some of my favorite colors and we're going to hope it works out. Now this is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrapped canvas. I have taped the back and put my push pins in. Get that out of the way. I'll show you what I'm working with. Okay, tonight we have this one Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. Everything is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol tonight. Fairly thick, leaving a mound on a mound and then disappearing into itself. So that's our bright aqua green. And traditionally, I do like to keep that one thicker because it does have a history of taking over. Hello, bug. Goodbye, bug. <laughs> Ejected. It's very buggy in here because we keep leaving the doors open because it's hot. Okay, so after the bright aqua green, we are using this one. This is Chroma Molten Metals in Aged Bronze. Right there. Mm -hmm. Very cool stuff. And it looks a little murky in the cup here because of the Floetrol. But if you look at this color in here. Uh, all right, well, you'll have to take my word for it. <laughs> 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 this is the Aged Bronze from Chroma Molten Metals. And I have mixed it fairly thick because I do want it to match the consistency of everything else. Okay, the next one we're using Liquitex Basics in Thalo Blue. Yeah, Thalo Sign. What? what? You're like holding it up there and like where? Well, I was trying to read it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful color, I love this. And this, every time I use it, it just reminds me, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money on very, very expensive paints. Liquitex Basics are awesome paints. It's very thick and heavy bodied. You get a lot for not a lot of money. They're readily available and they're awesome. And there's nothing stopping you from adding a little bit of black or brown to this to create a darker shade or some white to create a lighter shade. And you can play with your colors and have a good time with them. So speaking of mixing it up a little bit, <laughs> this next one, it's also Liquitex Basics Thalo Green, but to this I have added just a smidge. And I mean maybe a teaspoon and a half of this one. This was Folk Arts Treasured Gold in the Green Gold. And what it did was lightened it up just a tiny bit and gave it this beautiful metallic sheen, which I'm very happy about. Okay. So, and then the next one we're using is a Cobalt Blue. I got a dark blue, a lighter blue, a dark green, a lighter green, <laughs> white, gold, and the aged bronze. So this started out, <laughs> this is another mixed up one. This one started out as cobalt blue from Golden, but then it looked very similar to the phthalo blue. So I added a little bit of the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt to this one and I think also a shot of the pearlescent medium because I wanted to change the color. I wanted it lighter than this one. I wanted it different. And it made it metallic, which is cool. So, this is what I was saying about play with your paints. Mix them up, it's a lot of fun. See what colors you can make. So that's our cobalt, that's sparkly. And then the last one we have, which is also mixed up, <laughs> This one is Teco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Sterling Silver, and I have added a little bit of white to it. And it's a little thicker than everything else because I don't want it to take over. So this is mostly silver with a little bit of white because I do want that contrast, I do want that pop. And then last but not least, we have my Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Because. Hmm? Because because we need gold. Because <laughs> everything needs gold. Okay. Everything's better with gold. It is. And then I also have the Thalo Blue mixed up as a base coat. This is much thinner. And everything. 
everything else. So for this size canvas, we need about 25 ounces of paint. And I have 16 ounce cups, so I'm probably gonna go about 15 ounces on each cup and probably put 30 ounces of paint on there total, which is fine with me, I don't care. All right, so let's actually layer those now. All right, I wanna have some of that phthalo blue on the outside. And then we're gonna go into the silver. Silver again, just a little bit. I'm going to do the green, change up the order a little bit. The bright aqua green. See, what are you doing? You gotta stay out of there. <laughs> Listen, buddy, there's nothing in here for you. Back up. Lay down. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Just bronze. I'll probably stop there. What? Restraint? Who are you whenever you're done with my lovely wife? I am your lovely wife. Okay. Move those over. Alright. This is our phthalo blue. Baxter, this is not a good time for you to be over there. straight pour across and then we're gonna go across starting from the middle not from the end are you ready husband of awesomeness I lost ready as I'll ever be you you go I'm gonna stay kind of up high and I'm gonna push the paint I'm not pouring it really close to the edge of the puddle I'm pouring it about an inch back starting right there but that's really pretty I like that gold I like that white and there's gonna be cells popping up through there which is gonna be cool okay Groovy.
first thing we're going to do, since the weight of the paint is about here, is we're going to go towards that edge first. towards the center a little bit more. Just stretch out this corner and this edge. That's kind of cool. What do you think, DJ? It doesn't take too much imagination to get fireworks out of that. <laughs> Like so I see blast. flames. Huh? I see flames. The flames. <laughs> Up here, blue and green My flames. My favorite. <laughs> My favorite. I like it. I wasn't sure if I liked this silver solid part and then that line, but I do actually kind of like the line. And, you know, I'm tempted to let's do something to it, but I don't actually really want to. I kind of like it. I like that it's not perfectly symmetrical, but I think it balances painting and I kind of love the contrast that it's giving. These are so pretty in here. That's gorgeous and I love these little bubbly cells that are popping up. This is, I could take this off. I kind of should probably take that off but I don't want to because it's just going to distort my cells. So I like, I think it's cool. It's going to stay like this. <laughs> so let's torch this again and then we will be done. So that's pretty cool. So um, this afternoon, <laughs> uh, I hope you guys will join us for another episode installment of the This Little Piggy Hometown Collaboration. Um, there were some lovely artists yesterday who went on Saturday, and there are some that are going today after me. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys join us. Um, I will post a link in my community tab with a playlist so you could just click on the playlist once and then it takes you from video to video You don't have to do anything else. It's awesome. So this was cool. I'll show you when it's dry. We'll be right back. Happy 4th of July you guys stay safe. Have lots of fun. Dokie. It's a couple days later now and it is dry. I really like how this one turned out. It's really, really pretty. Some parts of this are just gorgeous, like right in here, especially. 
just beautiful stuff. Those little gold cells with that darker blue edge from the thalo. Really pretty. I like the green. Very turquoisey. I like that white and silver a lot more than I actually thought I would. Um, it does look kind of white, but it is also sort of silvery. This part up here is probably my favorite part, though. That's just so pretty to me. Gorgeous stuff. Those little flames, <laughs> which could be fireworks. So, a little bit of a different interpretation for fireworks, but I do see all those lovely gold cells, which always remind me of the explosions in the sky. Lots of fun. So, this one turned out really, really pretty. I do like it a lot. I do like that there's some softer parts. Even in here where it is softer, you see all these really pretty lines and that gorgeous gradient. And I like this big kind of poofy wave thing. Which is very cool. So, that turned out pretty neat. I enjoyed this one a lot. Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. I really appreciate all of you. I hope you have a wonderful, happy, safe holiday. Take good care of each other. And I hope that you will check out our this little piggy hometown collaboration that is happening this afternoon. And uh, I will see you there. Please join us for the premieres. Check out the live chat option. You can come and talk to us. I will post a playlist in my community tab for you guys so you can see all the videos. And uh, it'll be awesome. Thanks for being here, you guys. Have a wonderful holiday. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.